So here's the start of one of my new projects. You know, it's amazing because all of this stuff, I didn't pay for any of that except for the magnets. I don't know where I accumulate this plastic over the years, but yeah, I decided to do an upright rotor and I put two magnets on each one, you know, north, south, north, south, north, south. And this rotor was already made without the magnets. It had this shaft on it. So I decided just to leave it long. It was from a project that I was going to do like, you know, 10 years ago. But I'll probably figure out something. Maybe I'll put some kind of generator on there or something. I don't know. But it looked pretty cool, man. I just threw it together just now. The rotor is not the straightest thing in the world. You can see it's got a little bit of a... But it's all right. It's It'll work. And I'm still deciding on whether I'm going to use like one of these. The um, bifiler coil. I would mount it like right there or something. Or if I'm just going to use a regular uh, single coil and trigger it using... Uh, the hall sensor. But it came out pretty nice for something I literally just threw together. Anyway, hopefully the next time I'm recording, it'll actually be running. Ciao. So really quick, just a quick follow-up on that. I took inspiration from this one that I bought. So this is a Bedini motor. It has the um, five-filer coil. I, I think I popped a video of it. But I took inspiration from it because all of my rotors or magnet motors have always been horizontal, never vertical. And I don't know why that is, except maybe a long time ago. But yeah, I took inspiration from this guy. Ciao.